Hey guys, Jelena Jensen here with your favorite baldy, Limpy, welcoming you to this week's free MMORPG Weekly News. Thank you, Jelena, for that amazing introduction. Now guys, the first bit of news that we have is from Snail Games, and they've actually announced that the first expansion for Age of Wushu is ready to go. And it's ready for you to get downloaded and logged into the Legends of Mount Kua. And the first thing it does is they introduce a new 18-man instance called Yanmin Pass. And basically, you're going to be able to reenact history with three different storylines. There's also the Yu Yin 16 Prefectures Battle Arena. And that is going to be a 40v40 PvP arena battle that you can get into. It's pretty cool. 40v40, it's a lot of players going at it. Now, uh, they've also set up for new players... Uh, the ability for low level or low level players to power up much more quickly uh, thanks to discounts and learning skills that can actually come down from venter, uh, veterans, kind of like a mentoring system. As well, uh, players can actually earn NPCs for companionship and uh, basically buddies to run with them in like forbidden instances, stuff like that. Now, we also have this week and started last week, we have an all new giveaway for you guys. Those of you that are still playing Age of Wushu or you're looking to get into Age of Wushu at MMODen.com, head on over there. There's a brand new giveaway pack that coincides with the launch of this brand new expansion. So go get yours today, follow the instructions, and you will actually get a personal email from me, Limpy, with your giveaway pack for uh, Age of Wushu and the Legends of Mount Pua. All right, guys, next up, last week we got a bit of information from Wargaming on the all-new update 8.8 .8 for World of Tanks. Now, there's a bunch of stuff that was announced. Now, obviously, 8.8 .8 is not launched yet, but it's coming very soon. First thing we're going to get is we're going to get some new tanks for uh, across multiple tiers and the Soviet and German lines, plus some new Tier 8 tanks from the Chinese line. Uh, in the medium uh, side of things, the T-34-3 medium on the Chinese side, and also in Tier 8 heavy tank, uh, th those will also make their appearance for the first time. Now, in the new Soviet line, you're going to get Object 140, which uh, takes place as the t nation's top medium tier option. And there's also going to be a rebalance within the German line that will provide players with a more well-rounded gaming experience. So pretty cool stuff coming there in the near future. Now we also have a new battle arena map, Tundra, which I know a lot of you guys think Tundra and it's, you know, you think wintry, but it's actually going to be more of like an autumn setting. So kind of a cool setting there and the new map, Tundra, will be coming with update 8.8. .8. Now tell us down in the comments below how many of you guys are looking forward to update 8.8 .8 and these new tanks in these new lines. All right, guys, next up we have news from uh, Blacklight Retribution and the new Drop Zone update, which introduces a brand new metropolitan style map that's kind of in the aftermath of Onslaught. You've got congested streets and new map has a smaller size to promote fast and uh, basically very, very chaotic gameplay. Now, the Drop Zone update also introduces an increased level cap to 50, which is kind of cool. Everybody always likes a little increase to the uh, level cap. Now there's also some new titles for you to earn and also the Bearded Ops novelty camouflage to claim as well. Now there's a lot of new gear that's getting introduced with this update. First of all, you're gonna get a Riot Shield, basically for protection when you're in close in close to personal. You can also use it when you're getting shot at and stuff, you know, have a little ricochet off a few shots. You've also got a Sonic Tomahawk, which promises a kill in one hit against most builds. And then you've also got a uh, new thermal protection gear, which is essentially going to mask your heat signature from enemies' infrared detection, which that's pretty cool if you ask me. Now the new drop zone update and the new drop zone map, sorry, that actually takes and supports almost all the game's game modes. So pretty cool stuff right there. I know a lot of you guys are playing Blacklight Retribution, and it's probably one of my favorite free-to-play uh, shooters on the market today. All right, up next, we've got news from Gaijin Entertainment, the, you know, the uh, company behind War Thunder. And they announced and introduced their the game's update 1.33. And the main thing that's getting introduced with this is you're going to have better customization for all of your planes and also for your crew, which is really kind of cool. So you're going to be able to do things such as, uh, you know, say, I'm going to take my firepower down a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and up my speed so I can have a faster plane. But you know what? It's just not going to do as much damage when it shoots. So it's some pretty cool stuff there. A lot of stuff for you guys to get in and play with. You're also going to have access to new weapons and ammunition packages, as well as the option to upgrade and improve like body armor, uh, not only for your aircraft, but also for your crew. And that's the thing that I was talking about with customization for your crew as well. Now we also are getting with update 1.33, a slew of new 
fighter ships or fighter planes that you guys are going to be able to work your way through in the different tiers of the game as well. Now remember, when you upgrade to the new version, all previously installed aircraft modifications will automatically be purchased and installed on your plane, so don't fret, those aren't going anywhere. But either way, this looks like we got a pretty good update for War Thunder this time around. Alright guys, on to news of a couple of games that are coming in the near future. The first one is from the developers of Heroes of New Earth, and S2 Games announced that they're going to have a new MOBA title this winter called Strife. Now Strife is built completely around the idea of collective contributing gamer community, so there's going to be a lot of stuff that will incentivize, incentivize cooperation and streamline communication between players uh, that will create a social system inside the game and allow players to not just be rewarded for their own skills in combat, but also for collaboration with other players. So kind of a neat little take there. Hopefully it'll really work out. Now there's a pretty cool storyline behind it as Strife basically begins with an invasion foretold by a prophecy and players will have to overcome what is known in the Trials of Strife and you'll have to be considered worthy of their place in the Army of Light. And then they'll be able to fight against encroaching an ominous dark wave, which is kind of cool. You know, it's nice to see that there's a little storyline tie in there as well. Now, you're going to also have individualistic character design and art and story, of course, within Strife. And you're also going to see some pretty cool stuff with crafted weapons and all that stuff that kind of go with the personality of the hero you choose. Now, if you guys want to take a look at what Strife is going to look like, look back in the video playing in the in this video right now playing in the background and you'll get to see what's going on with strife there's also a full video at youtube.com forward slash s2 strife to see the full video and see what's going on and get more information on the game now the next game we're going to talk about there's not a lot of information about this one right just yet but we're going to find out very soon with gamescom 2013 happening in cologne germany in the next couple of weeks we're going to find out a lot more information about this game, and it's been announced, developer Deep Silver has announced on August 7th, that Dead Island Epidemic is coming your guys' way. And it's supposed to be what they're calling a Zomba, which is basically a zombie MOBA. It's going to feature uh, trademark elements from Dead Island that players will know and love, and it's going to mix in some PvP action that essentially pits three teams against each other in a desperate fight for survival. So expect some really interesting things to come out of Gamescom in the next couple of weeks about Dead Island Epidemic, and we'll have the information from you as soon as we have it, and uh, I'm really looking forward to see how this one plays out. But either way, we're going to let Jelena take us home, so thank you guys. Alright guys, that's all for this week, but for more info on all these titles, head on over to MMODen.com. Also, remember to comment on this and other MMO Den weekly videos and earn a chance to win one of our five weekly prizes given out each and every Monday. For now, this is Jelena Jensen for MMO Den. Until next time, pathetic balls and thanks for watching.